Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to update installed software using grip policy in Windows Server 2022. It may be necessary to redeploy or update the already installed software. You can redeploy or update the installed software via group policy using the existing group policy object. For example, if Google Chrome has been previously deployed in your Windows Active Directory domain using software deployment, you can follow these steps on the domain controller to also update the application to newer versions network-wide. In this video, we will update Google Chrome that we deployed on computer objects using Grip Policy. We will use Grip Policy Editor to create a new package for the new version and specify which older package should be upgraded by this one. On Upgrade tab, you can select Package for version options to uninstall existing software or to do an upgrade. For this demo, we have two virtual machines running in Oracle VM VirtualBox. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller. We have another domain join Windows 10 computer. Log on to Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator's account. Let me show you the existing setup which we are going to use in this video. From the Server Manager's tool menu, Select Group Policy Management. Expand Domain, Expand India, Expand India Marketing OU and click on India Marketing Computers. The existing software deployment GPU link to this OU can be seen here. Earlier, we have created this GPU to deploy Google Chrome on client computers. Let's see these settings. Right click the software deployment Google Chrome GPU and select Edit. In the Group Policy Management Editor window, navigate to Computer Configuration, Policies, Software Settings and click on Software Installation. Here we can see the version information is slightly different. It is 66 for 110. But the deployed Google Chrome version is 46.0. It may be possible that sometime you may see the different version while you deploy the package from Group Policy Management Editor. The current version is Google Chrome 46.0. We will confirm the same thing on our client computer. Let's close the Group Policy Editor. Let's go to Targeted Windows 10 Computer. This is our domain joint Windows 10 Computer and we have logged on to this Windows 10 Computer using the domain user account Deepak Patel. This computer's computer account is stored under the India Marketing Computers OU, so the GPU is applying on this computer. We can see the Google Chrome shortcut icon on the desktop. Open Run menu, type fvs.cpl and press Enter key to open Installed Features and Programs window. Check the Google Chrome version. It is 46.0. This is the old version of Google Chrome. Let's close the window. Double click on Google Chrome shortcut icon to launch Google Chrome. Click on Help and About and then click on About Google Chrome. We can confirm that the version is 46.0. Let's update Google Chrome to latest version using the Group Policy object. Let me close this and let's go back to our Windows Server 2022 domain controller. In the first step, you have to download the latest Google Chrome MSI installation file and then put it into a software distribution network location on which all domain users have read access. Open File Explorer and click on Downloads. We have already downloaded the latest Google Chrome MSI package. Let's right click on the package and select Copy. Click on this PC, double click on a C drive and go to the software point. This is the software distribution shared folder. Under this folder, we are storing all MSI package which we generally going to use for software deployment. Let's access the folder and paste the copied MSI package here. 
Remember, this folder is shared and we are using it as a software distribution location. Go back to Group Policy Management window. You have to select the Group Policy object which currently used to deploy Google Chrome in your domain. Right click it and select Edit. In the Group Policy Management Editor window, navigate to Computer Configuration, Policies, Software Settings and click on Software Installation. We can see the current Google Chrome deployment package. Right click Software Installation, New and then click on Package. Check the path to the file. It should be a network path ws 2022 dc software point. Remember, this is a hidden shared folder. Now, select the new Google Chrome MSI package in the location it was put earlier. Click on Open to select the package. This time, choose Advanced option and click on OK. You have to wait for a few seconds. Currently, system is checking for the software package's integrity. After a few seconds, new properties page will open automatically. Go to Upgrades tab. Make sure you see the Upgrade Google Chrome line which should be there by default. If you want to remove it, you can remove it from here and if you want to add a new package, you can add it from here. Click OK to close the package property dialog box. Few changes are visible here. The first is the name. We can see the name is Google Chrome 2 and the icon is slightly different. So the configuration of the group policy object is finished here. Let's close group policy editor window. Remember, the GPU is already linked to the targeted OU. And we have stored the computer account of our Windows 10 computer under this OU. Once the deployment of the GPU in the domain is complete, Google Chrome will be automatically updated after each computer is restarted. To see the result, Let's go to our Windows 10 computer. We will manually update the group policy to speed up the process. Open Run menu and type CMD to open command prompt. At command prompt, type command GP update slash force and press enter key to update the group policy manually. By default, the group policy will automatically update at every 90 minutes. We are running command GP update slash force to speed up the process. In order to apply the group policy correctly, we have to restart the computer. We will be asked to restart this computer. You can type Y and press Enter key to restart the computer automatically after one minute. But I'm going to restart it manually. Close the command prompt, click on Start menu and click on Power option. Select Restart to restart the computer now. Upon restart, System will take some time to display the login screen. As in background, currently Google Chrome installation is running. Let's unlock the Windows 10 computer. Type user's password and hit enter key to sign into this Windows 10 computer. Upon login, open Google Chrome. Click on help and now click on about Google Chrome to see the version information. We can confirm that version is now 120.0. Open Run menu and type fwiz.cpl and press Enter key to open Install Features and Programs. Check Google Chrome version. It is 120.0. We can also see the name Google Chrome 2. So we can confirm that we have successfully updated previously installed Google Chrome using Group Policy. The earlier version was 46.0. Now we have Google Chrome with latest version which is 120.0. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.